everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new tutorial. I'm going to be bringing you some fall inspiration using some new products from our Simon Says Stamp Make Merry collection. And I'll also be pairing a few other Simon brand products together to create a watercolored die cut card that has a Thanksgiving vibe to it. I'm going to start by die cutting the new Mushroom House die from some watercolor paper. This of course coordinates with our popular gnomes, however this house is so cute you could use it all on its own. That's what I'm going to be doing today. I've saved every piece that was part of this mushroom house and I'm going to tape them together so that they don't move. My plan is to keep this entire die intact and so by putting a little bit of tape on the back that will help hold everything together. I'm just using some purple tape, but you could use any type of tape that you have in your stash, even scotch tape. Once I have all the pieces attached down, we're ready to start watercoloring. The watercolors I plan on using today are from Prima. These are the Prima watercolor confections. I am going to watercolor a very textured design on this mushroom to be able to give this a very lifelike appearance. The fun part about this technique and creating texture with your watercolors is the fact that it's actually very simple. And I'm breaking it down for you. I started by first adding a layer of color to the stem. I moved on to the door while the stem dried because one of the key aspects about adding texture to your watercolor is to come back in layers and so you want to make sure the first layer that you apply down is dry. I chose red for the door of my mushroom house just because the top part of the mushroom is going to be red also and I thought this would complement things. For the red on the top of the mushroom, I did pick out a red color and also an orange color and I really love how these colors blended together and this will help when we go to add more texture later, these colors will really play into the final design. Alright, we're ready to start adding texture now that we have some layers down. The first texture I'm adding is on the stem and I'm just bringing in watercolor and I'm dabbing on a bunch of lines to create the look of texture on the stem. Super simple, right? Next, let's add some texture to these rocks. The rocks are really cute and I thought it would be fun to do a very loose color to this. So I put down a bunch of heavy color along a portion of the rocks and then I just very lightly blend that out in spots. I don't blend out the whole entire piece. That's because it's creating a look of texture already. Then once the rocks dried, I brought in more dots of color and I just let them dry just like that. Again, this is very, very simple. I brought in green to add the look of moss to these rocks and that really provides a lot of nice detail. All right, we're ready to add some wood green to this door. Do you know how simple that is? Just make a bunch of lines. I'm bringing in that red and orange color that I used for the door and the mushroom top and I'm going to just put a few lines here and there across the whole door. That creates that really cool wood green look but it really was simple to do. The final bit of texture I'm adding is the splatters and one of the easiest parts of watercoloring is adding splatter texture. You just want a heavily watered brush, pick up some paint and just tap the brush across your project. Very simple and easy to do and now look at how cool this mushroom is with all the texture on it. We're ready to move on to creating a background. I love fall color so I picked out four Distress Oxide inks and you can see the colors here. I'm going to blend them into a beautiful background starting with pale paint. I'm using blending brushes to blend these out and as you can see I'm gradually working my way up the background. After peeled paint, I added wild honey and I'm blending that into Crackling Campfire, the new Distress Oxide color, which I love. And finally, to mute things down just a smidgen, I brought a little bit of walnut stain in. And that, along the top and the bottom, provides that dusty look to the fall colors, which is one of the cool parts about fall, is that the colors have this really awesome, vibrant, but muted appearance. We're ready to add some splatters because this of course adds more texture to the background. But the key with adding texture is that you don't want to add too much. I like breaking up texture by adding a simple element in addition to all the other elements. So that's going to be my leaves. You can see on the left here I have some die cut leaves that I've made with the Simon Says Stamp stitched maple and stitched oak leaf dies. These are going to break up the background and the mushroom house and provide not just color and a beautiful fall vibe, but it's going to help break up the two textures. And that provides a lot of really nice definition to our mushroom house. Now, my idea behind the mushroom house was, in my mind, this 
card is going to signify sending blessings from my home to someone else's home. Because at Thanksgiving and any time, it's important to remember how blessed we are to have such wonderful people in our lives. So I wanted to make sure that having a home on this card would help carry the message for Thanksgiving. I'm going to stamp a sentiment from the All the Thanks stamp set from CZ Designs and I'm embossing this with gold embossing powder on brown cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and die cut this with a coordinating die and this can get popped up along the bottom of my card. I plan on writing a meaningful message on the inside of my card talking about how I want to send blessings from one home to another and I thought that the simple blessings on the front was the perfect touch for this card but you of course could change out the sentiment for whatever you want. A few final touches were some gold sequins and I added white Nouveau drops to portions of the top of the mushroom just for a little bit more interest and I help continue the white dots that are on the mushroom on the, on the right hand side. My card is finished. I love how it turned out. I think this is such a beautiful die and I really loved coloring it so that I could use this on a Thanksgiving card. I hope you were inspired by today's fall card. I hope you will stop by our blog to get more information on this card, including still pictures, products used, and of course you can subscribe to our channel for additional inspiration. I'll be back again soon with more to share, but until next time, I hope you have a very wonderful day. Bye!